John Davis on Fox 10 Action News. One is in the books. We are back for week two. How are you doing, everybody? Don Hawes along with Edward McDonald. Another edition of First and Ten coming your way. Guess what? We're going to crisscross the coast for the biggest and the best in high school action. We have highlights. Get this. Some lions and bears and tigers and oh my. I, just I think it's could, tigers, I, 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 tigers I and then bears. I couldn't bring myself to do it because I revert back to my childhood. Anyway, we also have an age-old struggle between saints and devils. Can I get a witness on that one? First up, though, 6A rivalry heating up again. Last season, Viger and Theodore met in the second round of the 6A playoffs. You might remember this one. Viger had a better record. They had an early season win over the Bobcats. But it was Theodore who pulled off the upset and kept their season alive. Yeah, it's a new season now, but Viger hadn't forgotten who ended their season last year, and they were looking for a little revenge tonight. That's why Theodore and Viger is our marquee matchup. Joe Downey and the Bobcats, ready to go. Opening quarter, Ramon Nelson's going to find Mikkel Henderson. That is a 30-yard touchdown, 7-0. Bobcats looking good early, still in the first. The same duo going to get together, Nelson and Henderson. Check this out, 13 yards, 13 nothing. Theodore, they missed the PAT, but they're way up already. Onside kick, they get it. You got to be kidding me. What's going on with Viger? Ty Gunner bringing down that one. Nelson not done. Chris Wiggins zipping through traffic. He will take it all the way to the Viger two-yard line. Wow. Bobcats coming out to play tonight, huh? Three plays later, Nelson, the quarterback sneak, 21-6. to six. Theodore at that point. Henry, what do we... Oh, look at that. Theodore picking up where they left off last year. They go to 2-0 as they win it, 23-12. Let's go to the Swamp. Satsuma, the Gators, coming out against Mary G. Montgomery. Opening drive for the Vikings, Robert Ball, the wrecking ball. 30-yard touchdown. Ah, not a touchdown, a run to the 40. That would lead to this bizarre play. Everybody but me and Edward touching this ball. It eventually goes back to the quarterback. How about that Mitchell Pate? 40-yard touchdown. I don't know how they did it. I don't know if they could do it again. 7-0 Vikings. Gators try to answer. Not good news for them. Daryl Brown. Nah, Sam Stewart. Daryl Brown will come in later. That's Sam Stewart. Down to the 5. Here is Daryl Brown. Straight ahead. 14-0 MGM opening quarter. Ensuing kickoff. Uh-oh. Not a good night to be a Gator. David Kittrell stomps on that one for the Vikings. Second quarter. They are rolling again. Mitchell Pate to... Maurice Calhoun, zip, 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 past everybody. 40-yard touchdown, 21-0 Vikings. How'd this one end up? Oh. Not good if you're a Gator. They fall to 0-2, 28-0, the final score of that. Well, you know what, Don? Last week, Williamson High got a step closer to bending back to the 5A state title game with a win over Blunt. Well, that was last week. Tonight, the Lions had to square off with the Rattlers up the floor. And when you get a bunch of Rattlers together, they are ready to strike. But in the first quarter, the Lions showing who's king of the jungle. Jamarcus Russell with the screen to Raphael Darrington. He's in the house from five yards out. That's a touchdown. PAT, no good. Six nothing. Then the D stood up. Oh. Octavius Walter, yeah, he got popped and stopped by Keyshawn Buller. Then Darrington speared by Mustaki Smith. But second quarter. This night belongs to Mr. Darrington. Watch this. Nice little run there. He would get into the end zone. Showing a little power as well. Yes, Mr. Ref, raise your hands if you're sure. 12 nothing. Band loving it. Third quarter. Darrington, a little shuck, a little jive. He can move. He can oh, move oh, some things. Get oh, to the end zone for the touchdown. 18 nothing at that point. Scoreboard, guys. Can we see it? And it is Williamson. 2-0 and on the season. 25 nothing to score. Let us hear from the coaches, please. You know, we discussed how they were playing the first half. I thought we were doing some things good, but all you know, we were still dragging around. So what we wanted to do was come up and pick up, come out the second half and pick up the pace, and that's what we did. We just played a real good ball game. They had a real good plan for us. Um, we made some minimal mistakes of uh, fumbling the ball, and uh, our defense played real good. Uh, but you know, you can only ask your defense to, to do so much. 
All right, down in Baldwin County, it was Shaw taking on Foley. Somebody ready to rumble in the first quarter. Foley gets it going. Willie Watts turning on the juke and getting nice yardage. 17 yards forced out at the five. Two plays later, Willie is your world. Touchdown. That made it 7 nothing. Foley. Second quarter, Shaw would get it going. Desmond Johnson back to pass. Punch that bullet. He will hit Robert Harris. It's a 23-yard touchdown. Nice effort to get in there. That tied it up at 7-7. Russ Moore wanting more. Russ Moore getting less. Ricky Yearling. Ricky, um, stopped. Pretty much. <laughs> that pretty much sums it up. Uh. Shaw with lots going. Johnson, he would drop back. He's going up top. Call D's. Sweet catch. Nice takedown right there. 35-yard gain. They're loving it. Then Johnson will find Walker Shears. Sweet one-handed catch. That made it 14 to 7. Shaw, oh boy, guys, can I get it? This one was tight at the end, but Foley in overtime, 27 to 26. That is your final. All right, St. Paul's 5A debut last week. Uh, not exactly one to write home about. Ended with an end zone interception and a loss to Clark County. Tonight, Eddie Guth and the Saints banking out a better performance as they cranked up area play against the Devils of Escambia County. Let's pick it up, opening quarter, Saints already up 7-0, Brent Johnson heaving it downfield to the wrong guy. Oh! Picked off around the Devils 20-yard line, and they make him pay for it. Travis Guy is the quarterback. I don't know how he came out of that hole, but he did. Houdini. 40 yards later, it's a touchdown, they missed the PAT. Escambia County down 7-6, St. Paul's though, answering back. Johnson swings it to Blake Martin. Look at the tough running. All right, that led to a touchdown, 14-6 St. Paul's. Saints not done, though. Not done. Nice, nice catch, catch nice by Michael catch. Forward. They lead it 20-6. Johnson went out with cramps. The freshman, Todd Wilson, comes in. Give it to Bo. If you're a freshman, just give it to Bo Fleming, because he's going to run it as far as he'll let him run it. Bo knows. Bo knows. Out around <laughs> at 25. Give it to who brung you, huh? Bo up the gut for the touchdown. Let's see how this one ended up. And the Saints get their first 5A win 34-12 over the Devils of Escambia County. Ooh, not a like, bad ball Like game. those highlights. A little tough, you know, when you move up. They wore 3A not too long ago. Then 4A, now the 5A. They, they've had to do some serious work there. Guess what? We got more. We ain't done yet. We're not even close to being finished. Still plenty of good games to talk about as Brian's big play offense goes across the bay for a big matchup with one of Baldwin County's best. And Davidson's backfield artist looking for some running room against the Pirates. More red-hot high school highlights coming up next. Have you had credit troubles in the past? Don't worry. It's been turned down by every car dealer in town. Don't worry. Feel like you have nowhere to turn. Don't worry. Pensacola's Kia Autosport can help if you've got a job at $199. You may already qualify for a brand new car. Regardless of your past credit history, call 1-877-457-7772 for fast, easy service. Bad credit, no credit, divorces, bankruptcies, repossession. It doesn't matter if you've got a job at $199. You may already qualify for a brand new car worth up to $20,000. Like brand new 2000 Kia Sophia starting at just $74.95. Just qualify and drive away. Call 1-877-457-7772. 24 hours a day. It's fast, easy, and absolutely free. Call 1-877-457-7772 and drive away today. Pensacola's Kia Autosport. Labor Day is over, but not Heilig Meyer's Labor Day sale and clearance. We've extended it through this weekend. Everything is on sale. Living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, leather, home office, appliances, electronics, even recliners. They're all on sale. Every style, every color, with famous lane recliners starting at just $299.95. And look for very special savings on clearance merchandise throughout the store. So if you want your money to work as hard as you do, don't miss America's hardest working Labor Day sale and clearance. Extended through this weekend only at Heilig Meyer's. Andy, you startled me. No roll of pens. Dominoes, we hand stretch dough for quality crust. Don't be tempted into taking shortcuts. I don't think so, Andy. Domino's pizza with hand stretch crust. Andy! Domino's. Bad Andy. Good pizza. Now at Domino's, get a free medium one topping pizza when you buy any large pizza at regular delivered menu price. That's a free medium pizza with the purchase of any large. Call now. Got him 
flipping out <laughs> over there, you know? <laughs> Welcome back. Last week, Bryant let everyone in Class 6A know they are all about business this year, smacking around Shaw and claiming the top spot in the state. Well, tonight, the Hurricanes hope they keep their undefeated regular season record intact on the road in Bay Minette. Let us go to the highlights. Bryant, Baldwin County, Tigers ready to roar. First quarter, Bryant on the move. Gerald Thompson with the pitch to his cousin, Lynn. And 80 yards later, you can see it was a family affair. He is gone for the touchdown. Two minutes, something else. 7 nothing. PAT was a good one. Bryant looking like Bryant. That's all we can say. Second quarter, though. Home team getting something going. Zach Anderson, a quarterback. He's going to go up top to one of the state's best. Anthony Mix. Sweet catch there. He is in the mix and the end zone. PAT good. That tied it at 7. Then it's Lynn again. Thompson will turn the corner and turn on the juice. He's going for that corner. Oh, oh nice shot there, but he's still oh, in the house. Why did I give that to him? That was a touchdown. Stop it. Anyway, that made 13-7. Kane, <laughs> let us go to the board, and you're not going to believe what you see. In overtime, it was Baldwin County. They stopped that 21-game regular season unbeaten streak. Hadn't lost since the school has been in existence, but that is over 28-27 in overtime now and Daphne it was Baker and Daphne hooking up 31 nothing is the score right now in the third quarter and getting worse Daphne's first possession of the quarter Nathan Rizzi. watch that little shuck little jive spin move right there like Don used to do it back yeah, in the baby. day yeah I kept it working <laughs> a few plays later Cornelius Snyder Watch Cornelius. He's going to bounce. I did that too. You did that too. I did and, that too. But did you get in the end zone like you did? That was a 12-yard score. That made it 38 to nothing. Lots to cheer about. Baker had a few moments. Jarvis, awesome. That's his back. Come here. And he finished. He gets the finish right there. Go down. Next play, though. James Reeder. He's in a quarterback now, and he's going to get some. Going to bomb to Adrian Yeldon. Yo, Adrian. Touchdown right there, pass interference, 44 nothing. didn't matter at that point, scoreboard. Ah, Daphne, the Trojans had a nice night, 51-7 over the point of Baker, Baker now 0-2 on the season. Don. Yo, Adrian. Yo, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, Davidson rode the legs of Lee Artist Williams to a big one over Satsuma. Williams rushing for 233 of the Warriors, 296 yards in that win, 26-12. Tonight on the Eastern Shore, Fairhope. Hoping to ground the Warriors' running attack. The Pirates fired up at home. Pick it up, opening quarter. Davidson quarterback Thomas Kirksey rolling out. Look out for Daniel Catlin. Hello. Sack. Scoreless game after the first, second quarter. Fairhope on the move. Their quarterback is Casey LaSource. The screen pass to Damian Ladd. He's got some blocking out front, and he's got some power legs to break the tackle. A couple of plays later, the source. Look at that camera work, huh? Laying it up for Derek McQuittery. This is McQuittery, I hope I pronounced that right. Five yard touchdown, Fairhope in the lead at that point. What do we got? Final score, 13 nothing. Pirates even up their record at one and one. UMS on the road at Robertsdale. Pick it up second half, UMS leading by a score of 13 to three. Robertsdale coming back to OB. Trotter to Jason Wilkes. He will take it inside the five-yard line. That will set up a very familiar name to Robertsdale. It's Prim, but this is Edric Prim. Three-yard touchdown. They missed the PAT. UMS lead down to 13-9. Bears need a stop. They will get it. Look at the pick there by Bryce Prim around the UMS 35-yard line. Bears would take advantage. OB up top to Luke Gators. 35-yard touchdown, Robert Stale in the lead, 16-13. Bulldogs not done, though. Brent V. His name is like Brent... But this is Brent V. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to screw it up. Brent V with a touchdown. Let's see the scoreboard. Robert Stale, though, stopping the Bulldogs, who are 0-2, 22-19, the final score. Let's check out some independent scores for you this evening. Mobile Christian... Loses to Sumter Academy 28 to 6. And Faith and Fruitdale, it is up to Faith Academy to call us with the scores. You don't score, call the scores, you don't get a score. Brent who? Yeah, V. V. Brent V. I didn't, Safe. I, I, if you I don't know the name, just don't pronounce it.
Well, if you've ever wondered what the coaches say while they're in the locker room or on the field, we got a good story coming up for you. One high school leader is going to give us a look inside look and then listen in his game day world. A night on the sidelines with Chris Nairn and McGill Tua. That's coming up next. And let's see if the Wildcats can come to our level for four quarters. And if they... Remember, Wendy's pickup window is open late, so you can eat great even late. Verizon Wireless introduces Mobile Web. The wireless internet access you personalize on your computer, then use right over your phone. With a simple scroll and click, you can get just the information you want, the moment you want it. Mobile Web. Only from Verizon Wireless. Join in. Sign up now and get the first three months access free with annual contract. You are entering a place that almost disappeared. A nursery of newborns. A cradle of life. of acres of Louisiana wetlands, once vanishing, now restored by people who work nearby. Do people make a place where nature can grow in peace? People do. Pay your last respects to the best ever cash allowance on Dodge Caravan. Combine special financing with a cash allowance to save up to $4,346. When you pick up Wendy's all white meat nuggets, you want to try it, hon? You can't wait to eat them, son. Uh, no thanks, Dad. Wendy's 99 cent chicken nuggets, a small price to pay for great chicken. Quit fucking the barbecue. Oh, oh, if I have to stop this car, someone's gonna be sorry. All right, welcome back. Notice the crawl there underneath the screen. Or uh, there it is, Williamson on the floor. Those are your scores. All right, they are motivators, they are father figures, they are teachers, judges, and jury. They are unique. Football coaches wear a whole lot of different hats in the locker room and on the sidelines. And at times, it seems like their moods can change with almost every play. Last night out at Lad People Stadium, photojournalist Brad Gunther and Barry Bain got an inside look at McGill Tulin's Chris Nemeth and his game day routine. Everything we do from here on out is to win, guys. Everything's to win now. All right, let's go to work. <laughs> All those guys are 22 ACT and better, so we, they still be, they'll be okay. They'll be good at the coin toss. Huh? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Do we want to try to go for the first down here? Well, he's got a radio if you want to go. Coach Denson has a play if you want to go with the offense. What would you run? No, that's not good. That's no, that's, 47. No, that's punt it. All right. That's punt it. All right, I don't want to give him any countenance, guys. Let's make them, let's make them, let's not give them, let's make them drive the field if yeah, they have I to. Agree. I think that's a good call. He picked that off. God dog it, what are we doing? How can we do that when we got a situation to get three points? We got some time, guys, we got some time, all right? Get some things, we'll get some adjustments. Now, listen, one thing, though. In that half, we won the field position battle. Do you all understand when we're talking about the field position battle? All right, meaning when we got the ball on offense, we didn't have very far to go. We squandered two situations there where we could have at least tried for two field goals and been up 6 nothing. We've got to take advantage of that, and we've got to get points. All right, we've got to get points. <laughs> Can we get a play that we can get more than no yards? Do we have a play in our offense that we can get no more than no yards? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Nice job. All right, I'm sorry. He's fixing to 
start raining, so we got to get something going. That gone it. Another down. You're okay, okay? Don't be afraid to be the guy that makes the play, okay? Don't be afraid. I know you want it. Some guys here, you want maybe Jermaine or Paul or Tony or somebody else. You Sometimes you got to be selfish and make the play, okay? And then come back. It's a lot of football. Those guys are going to get their chances, okay? Hey. Let's go now. Hey. Hey. Somebody on defense has got to make a big play instead of sitting there watching them have throwing and catching, throwing and catching. I accept that. That was what you wanted. What you wanted, I accept it. Whatever your plan is, God, I accept it. Coaching, you gotta love it. We'd well, like to thank Coach for letting us come inside his locker room, inside his world. Now, speaking of worlds, it can happen in the blink of an eye, guys. One second, you're finding the whole scene, nothing but open field, glory, and a kiss from every member of the cheerleading squad, except for the guys now. Yeah, good. Thank you. Next second, <laughs> bam, you've been rocked. Well, if it happens when the Fox 10 cameras are rolling, you end up being featured in this week's edition of the Rib Rock. In fact, we got a slab of Rib Rockers for you. First one comes from the Fairhope Davidson game. Watch this. This is Tedrick Milton. He will shake, jive, and get oh. straight <laughs> clocked by Bruce Murray. Nice. Guess what? We got another one for you. As soon as you see it again, that is a rock. Well, second one comes from the St. Paul Escambia game. This is Javon Brown. He's on the move, right? Well, <laughs> not when John Shaw gets a hold to him. Can we see it again? Ah, there it is. You get the slab of this week's Rib Rockets. <laughs> All right, this team's wow. season start has been a big hit so far, but what does the um, season hold for Citronelle? That's right, Coach Tom Ezel, the guy on the other side of the sideline from Chris Namath, who will join us next to talk about last night's ball game. Cash allowances on Dodge Durango shall soon pass into nothingness. <laughs> Or rejoice in the best savings ever on Durango, up to $4,549. Labor Day is over, but not Heilig Meyer's Labor Day sale and clearance. We've extended it through this weekend. Everything is still on sale, and we do mean everything. Living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, leather, home office, all on sale. Even appliances and electronics. If it's in the store, it's on sale. And you'll find very special savings on clearance merchandise throughout the store. So if you want your money to work as hard as you do, don't miss America's hardest working Labor Day sale and clearance. Extended through this weekend, only at Heilig Myers. Get him, Pepper. He ain't bringing nothing but beer. Uh, I won't! Churches has a great deal on chicken! Hmm? Get it, Pepper. Get an extra piece of Church's chicken free when you buy two pieces of chicken, a biscuit, and mashed potatoes for just $1.99. Or get eight pieces of chicken with family mashed potatoes for $5.99. 9 one, one. Me again. Pepper's done treat another one. Gotta love it. I'll take this one. 150 appliances in stock, all at a guaranteed low price. Lowe's, improving home improvement. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, you're always a day away. You got it. Tomorrow. See an appliance today, have it delivered tomorrow. Why buy anywhere else? Lowe's, improving home improvement. Welcome back. As we uh, saw McGill Toolin yesterday defeating Citronelle by a score of 14 to 12, a tough loss for 
Tommy Ezel, the coach of the Wildcats. Thanks for coming in for the ball game. How'd the team handle that loss when you when you lose? See, personally, I'd rather get blown out of a game. Then you know he didn't have a chance. You guys were right in it. Yeah, it was really tough. We lost the last 11 seconds. I tell you, I think the kids handle it better than the coaches do. They seem to be in a little bit better spirits today, looking ahead to the, what we got ahead of us. And I was still thinking about what we could have done last night to pull it out. So I think they handle it a little bit better than we do. It came a very, uh, very interesting moment in this ball game where you guys had a call go against you. And I don't know if you could talk about the officiating, but let's talk about the play. It happened. Let's let's show the video here. It was a touchdown called back. Allen West going to throw it to Jesse Campbell. Now, th it was ruled an incompletion. Now, there it is at real speed. We're going to slow this thing down because Campbell can't believe it because he made a fantastic diving catch. West puts it on the dime. This was ruled an incompletion, and really, it, I mean, that, you would have been up at that point had that touchdown counted. How did that affect your team? Yeah, that put us ahead, would have put us ahead, and uh, it did. It got us down for a little bit. We're used to seeing Jesse make those kind of plays, and maybe the official's not used to seeing that or something, but we thought he called it. But, uh, you know, they have to see it in real speed, so it's not so easy for them. But uh, we came back from it and, uh, and gave it a good shot. Close loss like that, Coach. What does it do for your team's psyche for the next game? Um, it gets them down for a while. One thing playing on Thursday is going to help a little bit because it gives us a little bit longer to get over and get ready going into Monday for uh, next week's game. We got one of our rivals, Mary Montgomery, next week, and they're having a good year so far. So uh, I think we'll be up and be ready to go. You saw them tonight. They beat Satsuma 28 nothing. You guys came out uh, against Baker last week, put up over 300 yards rushing. Uh, what is the state of that running game? Statistically, it looks pretty good. Oh, we have a, a good running game. We have an all-senior offensive line. They've been together for about two years, and they're doing a good job. we got Pat Weaver at running back, who's really, really fast and quick, and uh, our running game should be in pretty good shape. Where do you go from here? What do you do? Well, do, we just, do you do anything differently, or you just stick with what you got? You guys just get lined up, strap it on, and grind it out? That's what we're going to do. We're going to go back and do the things we've been doing. We had a lot of penalties last night, I think, of 14 penalties, and we just got to work on cutting out mistakes. And if we cut out mistakes, we'll be okay. You take over for Ronnie Massey. This is your second year now as a head coach. You're on the defensive side of the ball. How, how much different is it now, instead of being a coordinator, being a head coach? That's a lot of different. On the field is like it used to be. It's my favorite part. It's the off the field part that's different. It seems like there's not enough hours in the day to get everything done we need to do. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, all coaches I, say that, and eh, I got to deal with those media guys, and you, know, you just want to coach. And then on top of that, we drag him in here on a Friday night. <laughs> you just want to play the game, I know. That's the fun part. All right. Well, we certainly appreciate you coming in tonight. Uh, so you guys, Thank you. things looking pretty good for Citronelle, and hopefully you guys will uh, have a pretty good season. I appreciate it. All right. Tom Ezel, the head coach of uh, the Citronelle Wildcats, as they lose last night to McGill. Close ball. And that game, was a catch. I was down in the end zone watching that. That was, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll vouch for you. They got catch. robbed. Yeah. Well, we had a heck of a week two here. You know, we had uh, Mark Lassiter in here in the studio last week. You notice we didn't mention anything to the coach there about wins or losing streaks because we mentioned yeah, to Mark Lassiter and kind of their, their unbeaten streak in the regular season comes to an end. Our program has come to an end. For Edward, I'm Don. We'll see you next Friday on Thank First you. and Ten. Rib Rocker is brought to you in part by Alabama Injury and Pain Clinic. After a car wreck, who should you call first? Call me, I'm Dr. Scott Walker of the Alabama Injury and Pain Clinic. If I were an insurance company and the injured person called the lawyer first before calling the doctor, was that injured person hurt or are they just hunting a check? Call me, I'm Dr. Joel Williford of the Alabama Injury and Pain Clinic. What type of doctor do you need if you're hurt out there car wreck? Someone with experience in treating accident victims. Call me, I'm Dr. Harvey Davis from the Alabama Injury and Pain Clinic. <laughs> Get him, Pepper. He ain't bringing nothing but beer. Ah, uh, uh, Lawrence! Churches has a great deal on chicken! Hmm? Get it, Pepper. Get an extra piece of Church's chicken free when you buy two pieces of...